I'm spending a weekend in Alabama for the Frogging by Ear workshop with herpetologist Jimmy and Sahara Style. We drove to the Longleaf Pine Forest of Alabama for a great weekend with amphibians and even some reptiles. We had only been there for a few minutes when I saw something exciting. This is a wild gray rat snake. When I first saw it, I thought it was fake or dead. Now I was even more excited about the weekend. Each day we spent some time in the classroom and some time in the field frogging. It was fun getting in the pond. Here is a southern leopard frog that was calling. Definitely cute. I caught a cricket frog. It's right here in my hand. Now see how tidy it is? We hear cricket frogs, which sound like marbles tapping, and we hear um, southern leopard frogs, which kind of sound like squeaky balloons. Tadpoles are southern toads right there, and those big ones are spring peepers. They happen to be slower. There had not been much rain, so I was worried that the water could dry up before the tadpoles had a chance to go up. I saved some by moving them from the drying edges. <laughs> These are most salamanders in here. There's five of them. Yeah, Two of them are babies. The other three are adults or near to it. And there's actually um those ones too. Here is a chicken turtle. We found at one of the gopher frog breeding ponds. This is a gator hole. Now this is where the gators live. And now most gator holes are kind of deep. Near a shallow area. This is a mole salamander. Now mole salamanders are amphibians. Now all amphibians have permeable skin, which means chemicals and gases can pass through it easily. So you never want to hold an amphibian when you just wash your hands, spread the chemicals or anything like that. This is a marbled salamander, which breeds in winter in ephemeral ponds or temporary ponds, um, where there's where it comes down from rain where it's really heavy wetlands that are made from rain. So it will eventually dry up mostly. But that's that way fish won't eat it. This is the spotted salamander, which breeds in the same exact habitat as the marble salamander, which is the ephemeral wetlands, otherwise known as temporary, which means it won't stay there very long. This is a spadefoot toad, and the reason it's called that is because it's a um, little like toad thing that acts like a spade right there, and it really feels stranger than the um, toads. Now they're great at burrowing. This is a burrowing toad, and what's really cool is its eyes. Now they go inside of its socket. See, right there. This is a red rat snake auto otherwise known as a corn snake. And a cool fact of, about this is it can eat a chicken suck, a whole chicken egg whole without breaking it. Really cute. Ha, look at him. Yeah. This is a two-toed amphiuma, which is a type of salamander. It has really tiny eyes. So like a shark, it has little tiny sensory pores to tell what the movement around it. Now it doesn't really like the air because it lives mostly in the water. This is a glass lizard, otherwise known as a leg lift lizard because it has no leg. Now the reason you can tell it's lizard, not snake, is because First of all, you see those little holes? Those are its ears. Snakes don't have that. They have eyelids so they can blink. They have this little um, kind of bump-like thing there. Instead of being completely round, it kind of has a little 
spare of skin going over more skin. Yep. And when it breaks off its tail, it will generally become really weak because most of its energy is stored in its tail. Now it's very rare to find one of these with its whole tail. This is a baby alligator which is over three years old. And what's really cool is they're really built for survival. Their jaws are really powerful. Their tail, tail is really powerful. Their claws, their back, um, those things um, act like, um, kind of like armors. And its teeth are really powerful. This is a spring peeper. It's going peeper, peeper, peeper. That's a pie bearded tree frog you're hearing right now. Going wah, wah, wah. This is great to hear one of these. Very rare. This is the in injured female. Spadefoot toad. It looks like its leg's broken. Something's wrong with its eye because it won't open it. And it's walking really strange really like that. We're going to release him in some place where it's less likely for humans or animals to get him and hurt him. But where there's a bunch of insects for him to eat. And I went there with a stick wanted underground to make a little burrow because this is a burrowing species just a starter burrow to help them so that way it would um help them not have to move so much in these lakes and lambs and be in the open so long i'm pouring a little water on it to keep it moist because they have variable skin so they drink the water from around them they don't open their mouth and drink it, so. So good luck, little froggy. We took a group photo with those who hadn't already left. And then it was time for this one during Lumsy to hit the road. I learned and saw a lot and had such a great time with everyone. Mr. Jimmy and Miss Sierra, thank you so much. I can't wait to come back and see you again. Who knows? Maybe one day when I grow up, I will even get a chance to work with you.